Hi guys and welcome back to the channel and um, we've got new fish. We have got new fish so we've made the decision on what we're going to keep in this tank. Yes. Uh, and we've got some... So we've got some pea puffers. Um, well, we'll have a look in a second. But basically, we've got the tank all set up. It's fine, it's running okay. We've got some cherry shrimp in there at the moment, um, just because I've got cherry shrimp everywhere. Um, so hopefully they won't make a snack of them too quickly. But I'm not too worried about uh, water quality or anything, so we'll get the dirty tank water and just tip them in rather than try and stress them out anymore. Yeah, we've matched the pH, or we've checked the pH and it's the same. And we're just going to pour them in. So let's have a look at them and then get them in. So we've got the lights off so as we don't scare the fish too much. Because if it's bright lights and they're going into a new tank they might be all scary. But these lights. Oh. So, do you want to let them in then? Yeah. So what we're going to do is, don't take them out, just lower that down. Don't just let go. And just kind of tilt it slowly. Yeah. Yeah, let's get like that and go like that. Yep. And then we'll maybe try um, and right, tilt it up and I'll grab the bottom of the bag and we'll slowly lift it up to so let go. And we'll let them out. And hopefully they'll just swim out. Have you let go? Yep. Can you open it up a little bit at the end? So they can get their way out. They're coming out. And they will. There they come. Yep. So there's no rush, so we don't want to scare them. The old one's got out. The old of them are out. And they're all out. Let me go. Should I give them food? Not yet. Okay. The spray. What's that spray for? So Elizabeth's done her job and we've got them in, they're all fine. We're going to leave the lights off for a little bit longer and then turn them on and then we can have a bit of a closer look. Yes. Um, and I'll just let them get used to their surroundings. There are a few shrimps. Yeah, there are a few cherry shrimp in there I suppose. Um, I hope they don't eat them. And they may well eat them. Oh. But they might not. I have heard reports of people that have kept cherry shrimp and these pea puffers together. And to be fair, the cherry shrimp are bigger than the puffers. So, we'll give them a few minutes. You can go and have a wash and have a bath. No. Yes. No. And then we'll come back, we'll get the lights on, and we'll do a bit of filming and see if we can have a look at them. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for big thumbs up. Leave a like, a share, a comment, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. Right, so we'll be right back in a minute. Bye. So this is them, um, they're the pea puffers, Indian puffers, dwarf puffers, uh, same fish, goes by a different name depending where you get them. Uh, I got them from a local fish shop, well it's about 45 minutes away, um, but if you've joined me on any of my live streams you will have heard me talking about, I was thinking of pea puffers for this tank so as soon as I saw them post on their Facebook group that they've got some in. Uh, kind of made my mind up, went straight across, had a look, uh, and they had four, so I got four. Um, they were dirt cheap. I was expecting them to be a lot more expensive, and I'm not entirely sure whether or not they were mispriced, because I have seen them more expensive. And um, These were two ninety nine each, and I was expecting to pay upwards of a tenner for them. Um, but they're tiny, tiny, tiny fish. Um, 
got, the shop that I got them from is the same shop that I got my Fahaka puffer. So if you followed this channel for a while, you'll know in my fish room in the garage I have a Fahaka puffer. I got that as a juvenile from the same place. And um, we got these in. They tend to have a bit more diverse stocking than you would get at your pets at home or places like that. So it's a, a really good shop. And I was a bit worried about some of the advice the guy who worked in the shop was trying to give me. Um, for instance, he told me that these were all uh, fully grown. I'm not entirely sure that that's true. They are pea puffers, they are going to be small, but these are really small. Um, but when they reach maturity, apparently you can tell the males from the females because they get a, a black line on them, the males. The males tend to be more streamlined and possibly a more yellow colour, whereas the females are more rounded and more spotty with less lines, if that makes sense. There is one, in fact this one here, that is a little bit more yellow than the others. Um, but I can't see any evidence of a line or any stripes or anything like that. And they must be, what, half an inch tops. So I'm expecting them to double in size. Um, he was also telling me, so I, I was asking questions like, are they tank bred or are they wild caught? He told me that there are no tank bred the pea puffers. You don't, it's never happened, no one's ever done it, and that's just not true. Um, he also told me yeah, like they were fully grown, I didn't think that was quite true. They also had a green spotted puffer uh, and I explained that I didn't really want that one because I was going to put them in a planted tank and I understood that over time they really need to be converted to brackish. He was arguing with me all day long about that one so I just kind of left that. Um, but these are common misconceptions I guess so <laughs> you can't really argue about it too much. The shop itself is really clean, it's really well kept, really well stocked. Uh, I've got no complaints about the shop at all. Uh, um, so I, I was happy to buy from them, let's put it that way. Um, they're always happy to try and feed them for you. They're happy to try and answer the questions. They might not get it right, but what local fish shop does. Um, so we got to see them eating some bloodworms. Uh, but I got to see two of them eat some blood worms, the other two just weren't interested, but fine. And uh, that's primarily what they've been feeding them on, so that's okay. But if, if I've managed to capture any of these fish, they're really hard to film because they're so absolutely tiny. And um, the cherry shrimp are dwarfing them at the moment, so that gives you an idea of what kind of the size they are. In terms of tank mates, you really shouldn't keep them with anything. All the things I've seen so far are, yeah, they can be a bit aggressive, a bit nippy. So far they're paying very little attention to the shrimp possibly because they're so much bigger than them. Um, I'm not necessarily going to try and push my luck and stop this tank with anything else, so I'll just keep these four in here for the moment. They seem to be hanging about where there's a group of three of them and one. They're not fighting, they're not chasing each other or anything like that, but it's just a, a strange way that it's happened. And it's also quite hard to find them, so you come in and you're, you're going, hmm, where are they? But they are around and they're really inquisitive, they're not sticking to one area or top, well, middle or bottom. They're all over the place, looking around, there's one there hiding in the in the water sprite, checking me out, seeing what I'm doing. But they're quite funny, quite often they'll hide when you walk in the room and then just kind of peek out around the side of a rock or from behind a leaf to see who's there and whether it's safe to come out or not. Um, and that's what I wanted, I wanted something with a bit of personality. So as well as this being a pretty tank and nice to look at, I wanted the inhabitants to have a little something about them. So thank you for all the suggestions and I did consider them all and I did think about what I wanted to get there. But as soon as I saw these pea puffers, it kind of made my mind up for me. And they're just awesome. <laughs> In terms of the tank itself, um, it's running at a pH of 6.8, 6.9, something like that. It is... 24 degrees I'm keeping it at at the moment. I've got this canister filter on it at the moment and they do enjoy playing in the flow of that so I was worried that that was a bit much but it seems to be okay. I mean it is a canister, it's rated for a thousand litres per hour. It's a rubbish canister so it's never going to get anywhere near that but I've also stuck an intake sponge on it as well just to make sure they don't get sucked up and to kind of slow that rate down a bit and you can see I've got a spray bar at the top which is dissipating that flow as well and they seem to enjoy that they have been playing around in the flow quite a lot they're not struggling there's plenty of areas they can go where it's very low flow if they want to um, but yeah they seem very happy in it they've only been in the tank 24 hours and already they're fascinating to watch they're, they're really 
really active swimming around, checking everything out all the time, like I say, peeking around corners to make sure everything's okay before they come out and there aren't any big bad cherry shrimp going to attack them. It's hilarious to think that you've got a fish that's scared of a cherry shrimp. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying the tank and as much as I liked all the suggestions and there were some great suggestions of various types of mango fish and stuff that it was kind of 50-50 between going for the puffers or going for a small skull of whether it be Harlow Coon, Raspberries, Celestial Pearl, Danios, I was considering Golden Mountain Minnows um, all, all kinds of things and they would all have looked great um, but I'm, I'm happy with my choice, I hope you're happy with it too um, Come and check out some of the live streams. I tend to do live streams on a Friday or a Saturday night uh, in the UK time. We can talk a little bit more about it then, but if you've got any questions, by all means, bang them in the comments. Let me know what you think. Is it a good choice? Would you be happy with it? I hope you would be. Um, yeah, I just think they're awesome. Um, so once again, as Elizabeth said earlier, please click that like button, leave me a comment, a subscribe if you haven't already. You won't miss anything in the future. And we'll see you next time. Thanks for joining me. Bye bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We've made a decision and we've <laughs> we been screwed that up. <laughs> Hi folks, welcome back. Nice to see you again. And now <laughs> Try again. I'll start. And then we'll do a break and then you can talk a little bit. Yeah? No, I want you to say hi, um, the first part.